Okay, and welcome back students taking the math for business and finance and math applications. And uh, we're doing the last problem for the drill problems, 9-19. Uh, right, it says here, given the following, calculate the state. Um, we're going to assume that it's 5.3% and federal unemployment taxes that the employer must pay for each of the first two quarters. Federal unemployment tax is 0 0.8 on the first 7,000. So what we're talking about here is SUDA, state unemployment, is 5.3%. And FUDA, FUDA is 0.8% on the first 7,000. Okay. Uh, same thing with the SUDA $7,000 limit. Okay, so we have Bill Adams in the first quarter making $4,000 and the second quarter eight. Haynes is making $8,000 in the first quarter and fourteen in the second. And then Smooth is earning 3,200 in the first quarter and 3,800 in the second quarter. Right, so let's do one quarter at a time. All right, and the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to look to see first how much uh, how much each uh, how much they earn before they hit the limits. Okay. I'm going to do that by quarter, and then I'll just do all of the math for the quarter one and quarter two. So the limit is 7,000, okay? So in the first quarter, um, Bill Adams earned 4,000, so he's still under the limit. So he's we're going to have taxable of, of 4,000 there. But in the second quarter, um, let's see here, right? He gets paid an additional $8,000. I'm going to calculate the state given the following. All right, that's the summary. I'm just looking to see to make sure that uh, it's an additional 8,000, right? Okay, so um, since he was paid 4,000 in the first quarter, in the second quarter, um, he is going to have $3,000 more that's taxable because anything over seven is not taxable. Rich Haynes in the first quarter get 7,000 in taxable because he hit the limit right off the, the bat. So he has zero in the second quarter. Now Alice, she has 3,200 in the first quarter and she has 3,800 in the second quarter because the two of those added together is $7,000. Okay, so she just hit the limit. She didn't go over the limit. So in the first quarter, um, so quarter one, right? We have four thousand, seven thousand, and three thousand two hundred, and that equals fourteen thousand two hundred dollars. Okay. In quarter two, we have three thousand zero and thirty-eight hundred, so that's six thousand eight hundred dollars. Okay, so let's see here. <laughs> yep. So for let's do um, Suda first. Okay. So if I'm looking at Suda, and I have fourteen thousand two hundred dollars, and I take five point three percent of that, I end up with. Uh, seven hundred and fifty two dollars and sixty cents so that's the amount for Suda in the first quarter and for Suda in the second quarter I'm going to have sixty eight hundred dollars times the five point three percent and that's going to give me three hundred and sixty dollars and forty cents 
So that's for Suda. Now for Futa, I have 14,000 times 0 0.8%. Okay, and watch that percentage. Remember, it's 0, 0 0.8%. So when you're putting it in the calculator, you're moving the decimal places over 2. So that's 0 0.008 is what you're entering into the calculator. Right? A lot of students will just put in the 0 0.8 and get that wrong. Remember, that's a percentage. In order to turn it into a decimal, move the decimal place over 2 places to the left. Right? So 14,200. Fourteen thousand two hundred times zero point eight percent gives me one hundred and thirteen dollars and sixty cents, and sixty eight hundred dollars times zero point eight percent gives me um, fifty four forty. Okay. So the bottom line here is that for Suda in the first quarter 752.60 and in the second quarter 360.40 for Futa it's 113.60 and in the second quarter it's 54.40 okay all right that's it for the drill problems and I'll see you in the work problems in the next video